I want to see your skills right now. Let's get in there and push. Oh, you look like a champion in there. All right, let's get in there. Let's push yourself today. Let's see what you got. Perfect defense. Oh, you look like a champion in there. Punch. She felt that one. Great job in there. I can already see some improvement in your punches. Ready? Let's go. Nice, nice. Really great job today.
Let's go. That was some good work in there. Again, drillers make killers. Perfect. <laughs> Don't stop now. 30 on the... Speed, timing, reaction, that's the goal today. Move, move, just like that. Today, good work. Technique and more hard work. That's what wrestling is about. You ready to work? Let's go. Nice, nice. Really great job today. Beautiful. Keep working. Come on, let's pick it up here. Come on now, you got 30. Nice level change there.
All right. I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush this. Listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. My clock doesn't stop until you submit her. Let's go. Great control. Oh, you look like a champion in there. Nice work. Lock her down. Nice work, nice work, yes. Now focus on locking that in. Hey, you're giving her too much space. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Nice work, lock her down. Seconds. Good work. Maintain control. Some nice transitions today. You maintained control and moved into some dominant positions quickly. Nice work. All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Flyweight Division title. All right, so here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight contender looking to become the new champion here tonight. There is no denying she has every tool and every skill you could want, and she has all the makings of a UFC champion Let's see if the pressure gets to her here tonight or if she can put forth a similar performance that, of course, has led to this monumental opportunity here tonight.
All right, so here she is with much fanfare, the reigning, defending undisputed UFC flyweight champion, making her way to the octagon, the mission tonight to defend her title and go out the way she came in as the UFC's best at 125 pounds. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC flyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Marina Iron Lady. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, no losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 123 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. Follow my instructions. Well, after a win by knockout in that championship fight a few short months ago, her life changed forever. She really became a superstar overnight, and now she'll try to keep it going. We have seen stars fall from grace. Ronda Rousey comes to mind. Now she will try to win another title fight and continue what has been an outstanding legacy here tonight in another big championship defense. Big kick. All right, so a pretty good series of kicks by her there as she continues to really land at will tonight. I mean, there is no tell to when she is going to throw that kick. And before her opponent can react, the leg is already back, loaded up again. There's no tell on that leg kick. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Upstairs from Moreau's. Oh, straight right. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. She's the lead. Oh, did she get tagged by that combination there? And unless they're going to give her headgear between the rounds, she better start raising that go. She's got to start doing something, but it's a testament to her opponent. Throwing so many strikes, she's being so accurate with everything that she's throwing. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big double leg level change. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Don't give up, don't give up. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And 
this might just be a matter of time. Yeah, no doubt about it, that is some opportunistic grappling right there, and nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, and what a way to leave with the belt tonight. She gets it done by way of submission. You see the corner celebrating her teammates. That is a celebration that will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, All right, so congratulations go out to the still UFC Women's Flyweight Champion of the World, and the hardware is starting to pile up. Yeah, she is getting belt after belt after belt, and she puts them on display proudly. A great champion that stays atop this division. How many belts you got at home? Eight of them. <laughs> I got eight of them, baby. All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Oh, big punch, big punch. I love it, I love it. That'll leave a bruise. Come on. I love it. Good, good. Now, moving on to the next one. Let's do more of that. Oh, 
Wow. That punch damaged her. Right? That's what we need. 20 seconds left. Come on. Okay, come on now. Let's get in there and get after it today. Good, yes, I love those strikes. Nice combination there, let's go. Drill, drill, drill. Why? Because repetition is the mother of all skill. That's why. Let's go. Okay, time to work. Let's go. All right, that was good. Definitely making some progress. Well done. Pressure on her. Thirty seconds. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Huge kick. That must hurt. Well done. Really nice technique in there. Everything comes from the hip. Always snap.
Speed, time, reaction. That's the goal today. Hey, good job. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Push! Push! Let's go! Push! Yes! Let's keep that up. Let's go. 30 on the clock. Beautiful combination. Uh-huh. Keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Put the pressure on her. Let's go. Good technique and form this round. Hey, you're doing great. Keep pushing. Don't worry about it. We'll get better. You ready? Let's go. Done. 
That's the one. Hey, you're coming along really well. fight anywhere standing against the cage or on the ground let's get her down and control where the fight happens let's go okay this is how we train to win the belt push come on push excellent Let's go! Work! Focus, focus, focus. Come on now, you got 30. Huge! Great job today. Now that's what I want to see. Keeping busy in the clinch and working. I want to see your skills right now. Let's get in there and push. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Hey, you're coming along really well.
All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Flyweight Division title. All right, so here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight contender looking to become the new champion here tonight. There is no denying she has every tool and every skill you could want, and she has all the makings of a UFC champion. Let's see if the pressure gets to her here tonight or if she can put forth a similar performance that, of course, has led to this monumental opportunity here tonight. All right, so here she is with much fanfare, the reigning, defending undisputed UFC flyweight champion, making her way to the octagon, the mission tonight to defend her title and go out the way she came in as the UFC's best at 125 pounds. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time! Our rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Brasilia, Distrito Federal, Brazil. Presenting the challenger, Vivian Vivi Araujo. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding professional record of 22 wins, no losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 123 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, King. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, she won her last championship fight by submission, and the expectation is tonight that she will have advantages in that realm of mixed martial arts yet again. All of that said, the message from her and her camp during fight week was, we can't rest on our laurels. We have to be prepared that this contender has shored up her submission defense. So we're going to take what she gives us. If we have to go into the fifth and final round, so be it. Whoa! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, oh, those are those. Oh, oh! Just missed on that spinning attack. And she connects with a punch there. Beautiful takedown to tip land. So look at this, DC. She's got her in rubber guard. I know we've seen a lot of Eddie Bravo attempting a choke now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And 
this might just be a matter of time. Well, no doubt it was quick, and you knew if she could take this fight to the ground that her opponent was going to be in trouble. So the takedown comes early, and so does the submission win. You know she's got great instincts when it comes to finishing fights. Once she gets them to the canvas, safe to say mission accomplished for her here tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, and what a way to leave with the belt tonight. She gets it done by way of submission. You see the corner celebrating her teammates. That is a celebration that will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 56 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, King! All right, so another number one contender goes by the boards. Congratulations to the still UFC flyweight champion of the world. And I would think a scary proposition to the rest of this division. She's only getting better. She is getting better with every single title defense. You knew that she would have to be on her game tonight, and she was exactly that to remain the champion.
This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Nice, 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 nice punch. Yes, she felt that one, right? Okay. Beautiful combination. Uh-huh, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Put the pressure on her. Let's go. Good, good work with the hands. Yes, I love it. She's starting to fall apart, right? Okay, let's go. Come on now, you got 30. Today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. A nice technique. Coming along really well. We're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. Nice strike. That'll keep her honest. You're following directions perfectly. Great job. Combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Thirty seconds. Beautiful combo. Keep at it.
takedowns. What are we doing today? That's right. Takedowns. Good job in there. Great job in there. Your timing is really on point. Settle down there. Let's work. Step it up in there. 30 seconds. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Oh, that was good. Strong takedown. Love the way you attack those legs. Time to burn and get after it. Here we go. Yes, that's the way you master your craft. Today, let's go in there and get after it. Listen, you keep training like that?
Who could have pictured this, huh? I mean, I always knew you were something special, but... But this? This is next level. Only a handful of fighters have become double champs in the UFC. Some very rare company. And Ty. Good. All right, at the end of the night, though, remember, it's just a fight. Stay focused on the task at hand. We can worry about finding more trophy space in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's go. Good. That's it. All right, so here she is, the reigning, defending, undisputed champion, trying to get off to a good start here tonight as she chases UFC history, trying to become a simultaneous two-division UFC champion. It has been done before, but she is trying to join that short list of fighters to have one belt over each shoulder. Let's see how it plays out here early. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding professional record on. 23 wins, no losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, King. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record on. 15 wins, six losses. She stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Utrecht, the Netherlands, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Jermaine the Iron Lady, D. Radami. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch them up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, let's see how it goes for here tonight, especially early on in this fight when the emo- Oh! All right, first round is underway. Many people expected a big storyline in this one would be her jab. She's got a decided reach advantage here tonight. She is very long. She is very tall. She is very knowledgeable. Look for her to circle on the outside. Pop, pop, pop. The jab, and then let's- Oh, man. Oh! 
leg and kicks. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. A beautiful job by her there to land the knee. Definitely a fighter who knows how to use her leg. Real sneaky body kick. Oh! Oh! All right, stack guard here, DC. She's got the feet on the hips if she wants to escape. Yeah, she's free. I mean, she's free. Once you get your feet on the hips, you're free. And she has done that. She has beaten the position. All she has to do now is extend her opponent away from her, kick her off, post her hand on the mat, just basic jiu-jitsu stand up to get right back to fighting on her feet. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Durandamy gets hit with a kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right on the Unable to quite find that range. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Liver kick. <laughs> Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Oh, you can't that ever one no, but you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, nice high kick. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve Oh, oh massive leg kick, how many days? And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. GDR gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Back and forth we go. Oh. 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 She did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's been. All right, so a big round for her there as she makes her way back to the stool. There was the knockdown there in the middle of the round, DC. Talk us through it. She did a great job of really finding her spot, really recognizing an opportunity really getting to exactly where she needed to be to finish the fight. But don't think that this young lady will rush. She'll take her time, hopefully get there again to end the night. Catch your breath, breathe, listen. You can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that. You ready? You ready? Let's go, fight. Oh, man, that looks like sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking some game massive hit. Man, does she throw these hands seamlessly and easily connects with another series of punches, though. She is one of the best boxers in the UFC, and this is the reason why we say it every time she fights. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Trying for a submission now. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. about it that is some opportunistic grappling right there and nice finishing instincts as well you see a lot of fighters get the dominant position but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap no problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her ufc career
So what a moment for this fighter tonight. She wins the super fight to become a two-division UFC champion. That is rarefied air in the UFC. Her future, undeniably, is in the UFC Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. to eat some crow. Congratulations to her, a two-division UFC champion. So few fighters have been in this rarefied air. She came in having dominated a division, and now she has won a belt in another. Absolutely incredible, as she adds her name to the list of the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighters in UFC history. Place, put your hands up. Now everybody in this place, we're here. 